Good morning. Welcome to uh, In Our Neighborhood. It's our visual podcast series that we do. And um, unfortunately, I just have to mention, do a shout out to our Todd. Todd Neighbor, my partner, is not, I know. Hey, hope you're having fun. He couldn't be with us today. Um, And we'll miss him because he always kicks off the visual podcast. So now I get to kick off the visual podcast. You'll be great. Um, thanks. Um, and introduce Laramie Spover. Yep. Did I say it correctly? Yep. Oh, awesome. She's with the Grave Falls Animal Shelter. And uh, we have a guest in, in with us. We are in a cat visitation room. We are, yeah. So we're in Which our cat cool. adoption room uh, here in the animal shelter. Right. So if you were looking at adopting a cat, this is where you would be, for sure. So, of course, you can't be in the visitation room without having a cat. So we've got right. Tori um, that you and may or may not see right. coming in and out of the shots as he's as he's hanging out and playing with us today. So if we're giggling, it's because he's doing something funny. Just letting you know it's not, you know, there's not anything else going on. So um, we're here because we want to talk about Drill in the Pool. Um, yeah. I'm going to do a shout out to Comparion Insurance Agency because we're one of, of the sponsors. <laughs> they are. They're one of our silver sponsors. And we're so excited to have you guys on this year. Nice. Um, you know, this is, we're in the cat room, but we're actually right. talking about the one of the biggest dog events in Great Falls right. um, for the year. Um, and actually, I think you guys are probably one of the only insurance agencies that has approached us that um, offers pet insurance. Oh, my gosh. Which is See, something... I didn't even plan that. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> But I mean, it's a big thing. You yeah, know, we get calls okay. all the time from people that um, they have an animal that has had an accident, has an right. illness, has something, um, and and those vet bills can get really, really expensive. Okay. Um, so, and our goal is to get to them before that happens. When they're, you know, the, the younger, the the better for them. It's just like kind of like Humans. people health insurance. So, thanks for for. Absolutely. Sharing that, yeah, it's so, a big part of what we what we love. I mean, that's one of the super fun things about our job is right? getting to meet fur babies. So. Right. Well, I have a few that you could meet. Yeah, <laughs> we've already met Lilac. She had an angry face first thing this morning, but she she's did. very sweet. And Janet got her first experience with a werewolf cat. Ah, uh, incredibly cute. And yeah. Interesting looking. Like, yeah. I the genetics on them are very strange. Yeah. yeah. So maybe uh-huh. we can take a picture. I, I think we might be able to take a picture of yeah. the, oh, yeah. the we'll, little we'll, werewolf. We'll get you guys some video of, of, of those guys. But in the meantime, yeah. we're super excited to have you guys at Drool in the Pool so that the community can get to know, the dog community can get to know what, what it is that you guys offer there. Because really, Drool in the Pool is an amazing event for canine owners. So if you've never been to Drool in the Pool, this is an off-leash event done at the Electric City Water Park. Um, <laughs> There you go. Sorry, there goes Tori. There's a ball. <laughs> so it's down at the Electric City Water Park. Right. So um, the park actually closes August 24th to the public. Right. Um, from then they dechlorinate the pool and they take out the filters. Okay. And then on August 26th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. we open the doors and let the dogs run and play and, play. and have a great, oh great time. Um, of course, while the dogs are playing and running and doing their right. thing, we also like to have things for the owners to do. Sure. Um, Cause you know, standing there with the other dog owners going like, oh, hey, you have a dog, I have a dog. <laughs> cool, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> and then, like being at the park with your children. Right, and exactly. Human children. Yeah. Right, exactly. So yeah. we're trying to create oh, kind of a fun environment for them sure. as well. So sure. we've got lots of vendors that are going to be coming. So Comparion Insurance that's going to be um, offering information about their pet insurance along with all of the other insurances that they offer. And I hear that they may have a really cool little giveaway. We do, we do. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. It's a portable dog dish. Although when Laramie and I were visiting earlier, she shared there's another vendor that has a, a super cool like portable food and water outfit. So yeah. So Besties Bottles is going to be there out of Missoula. They're going to be coming. Um, Shields, uh, Fetch, and Happy Tails, who are all three gold sponsors for us, um, are going to be there with their vendor booths selling things. Now, last year, uh, Happy Tails brought their... dog beer (laughs) so on on a nice hot summer day your dog can have a beer with you if that's something that you're interested in i know Um, about pup cups i know mm -hmm. all about those but i've not heard about dog beer before i I hear that there's a lab in your family that may be very interested in that actually he's a golden doodle that didn't oodle oh he's very retriever (laughs) he's very 
yeah. That's awesome. Well, he's adorable. Well, then after a long day yeah. of retrieving, he's going to need right. something to cool him down. Yeah. Um, we also, one of the really cool things that we've got coming um, is Dog Dash 3K. Oh. So they're out of Bozeman, wow. and it is a dog obstacle course. Um, oh. So that one you have to actually pay for sure. at the facility. Um, you could actually buy tickets in advance for it, but your dog gets to run this cool little obstacle course. Ah. They're also, my understanding is gonna have a couple of competitions. So ah, to um, see who is like the best or well trained or more, well, I more staff, most agile, like. I think they're actually gonna be more things like whipped cream licking um, oh, and cupcake catching. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So lots of lots of fun right. things for the dogs to do. Um, but then we also are going to have some other. So those are all of our, our fun vendors. Um, Star Radio is also going to be there doing oh, a live nice. broadcast for us. Mm. Um, but then the shelter, we put on a few fun activities as well. So um, there will be sniff pits, um, which sounds really weird. But basically, you take an old tire right. and you fill it with balls. And um, you can put treats in the bottom. Oh, so sure. it's an enrichment activity for your dog that's right. fairly quick and easy. Uh, we won't put treats in the bottom because there's some food aggression issues. We don't want to cause any fights right. within the, in sure. the, in the thing. Um, but we do put a good smelling spray on the balls mm. so that they can sniff around in there and, and well, play. Well, balls are just cool anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Most of the time, um, that yeah. That sounds so fun. Um, we are going to have uh, tennis ball tug toy tying. Oh. So you can just come by. Um, you basically take a t-shirt and create a tug toy for your dog. Hi, Tori. Oh, come on, cool. baby. Come up. He's thinking about it. Oh, he is, but nope, not yet. <laughs> Gotta get a few more rubs. Um, we uh, are going to be doing t-shirt tote bags. So oh, we have those are adorable. You showed me one earlier. Yeah, so I was there making one is. earlier. Hi. Tori has made his appearance. You are on television, buddy. Yeah. Oh, sort of on television. Tori is looking for his forever home, oh. so he's one of a multitude of cats that we have so if you're interested in adopting come on down meet Tori he's obviously a sweet and friendly little guy oh, he is he's very very <laughs> friendly actually <laughs> Um, so Drew in the Pool, we're also going to be offering paw prints, so you can oh, come and nice. get your puppy's paw print right. done. Um, and then this year we're going to have a photo booth as well. Oh, um, so fun. we're going to have a bunch of treats there and uh, a photographer that you can toss a treat to your dog and get one of those cute photos of your oh, dog trying to catch a treat. Oh, um, or just fun. a picture of your dog sitting there if you would right. prefer. But, if you'd yeah. like a portrait. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. All kinds of options there for you. I um, think Tori likes me. I think so. You may, <laughs> you, you may have to have a new friend. Put those claws away, sweet baby. <laughs> there we go. Hi, pumpkin. Um, and then one of the big things and, and kind of one of uh, the most important probably things that we're going to have there is the free microchipping. Oh, yeah. So if you pay to enter the facility, um, you can get your dog microchip for free tori still has claws um <laughs> you can get, you can uh, get your dog microchipped for free um and one of our goals here at the animal shelter is to return animals home like right. we we want those animals to go back to where they belong the fewer animals that we have available for adoption the better we are doing our job right. and one of the easiest ways to do that is to have your animal microchipped, microchipped. yep Absolutely. um not only microchipped, but keep that microchip information up to date. Mm. So um, microchipping your animal is great, but if we don't have a way to contact you with that microchip right. information, then and it's mute. It, it's, yep, yeah, yep, it's, it's a mute point. So um, yes, yeah, so we'll be offering free oh, microchipping yay. as well. One thing to note, um, if you are going to bring your pet, you yes. do have to have proof of vaccination. So we need gotcha. um, Parvo, Distemper, and Rabies are the mm -hmm. three shots that are required. Um, so you can bring those in either printed from your vet or digital, um, but it does have to be directly from the vet with a signature sure. um, to prove that they have received those, those vaccinations. We want to make Absolutely. sure everybody stays safe yeah, and healthy. Absolutely. Yep. And um, we do ask that you only bring animals that are well socialized and friendly. Um, we, don't, <laughs> we don't have any issues. Yeah. Yeah, it's never fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and it just, what a great opportunity for the dogs just to have fun. Right? You know, Run, it's like be free, a, have yeah, fun. Yeah, it's like a dog park on steroids. <laughs> a little bit. It's awesome. A little bit, yeah. A dog uh, carnival, if you yeah. will. <laughs> yeah, completely. Is there anything else, Army, that we need to know about that event? How do people attend the event? Do they just show, show up, up yep. 
And there's a fee to get into the event? There is, yep. Okay. So you would just show up August 26th, 11 okay. a.m. to 2 p.m. And you don't have to be there the whole time. So if you don't, if you want to go to the farmer's market and then go home and get your dog and come back and just be there for a sure. half an hour, you could do that to sure. it to you. Um, so it's a come and go kind of right, event. Right, right, right. Um, it's $5 per animal and okay. $2 per human to get oh, in. Oh, gotcha. And you don't have to have a dog to come. If you oh. just want to come and watch the dogs play or say you don't have a dog that's very well socialized, but you want to come talk to Comparian right. and see what kind of pet insurance might be available for right. you, um, you just pay the $2 for the human to get in. Gotcha. You don't have to have proof of well, your vaccination. Well, gonna, there's going to be so much joy there that, you know, it would just be a great opportunity to... Have Absolutely. that experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Fun. You just want to come sit and watch the dogs bring a chair, sit and watch the dogs play in the pool, run in the sniff pits, whatever the case may awesome. be. Absolutely. So how can people get more information if they want some? They can go to your website. Absolutely. And, okay. Yep. So we've got a website. Uh, so it's uh, greatfallsmt.net forward slash animal shelter. Okay. Just click events on the side and you're going to okay. see all of the events, including drool in the pool. And awesome. it's got a website there. And um, the phone number here is... 406 454-2276. Okay. Yep. And, that's and you can also contact uh, Park and Rec. So this is okay. a joint venture oh, between awesome. the City of Great Falls Animal Shelter and Park and Rec. Truthfully, it was actually a Park and Rec's event uh, previously. Um, we just sort of were like, hey, this is a good event. Can we make it bigger? Right. And they were like, uh, sure, yeah, oh, we'll cool. go ahead and do that. So um, you can also contact Park and Rec okay. with any questions that you may have. Okay. They have uh, more expensive hours than we do. So Sure. Well, and, and our goal, too, is if someone is looking for their forever friend, mm -hmm. their forever fur baby, yep. you know. And we won't have any of our animals there sure. um, at the facility, but we will have um, like our little lookbook so you right. can look through. Yeah. We will have our applications. So if right. you look through the lookbook, find somebody that you like, right. we can schedule you. You can fill out that application and we can schedule your meet and greet. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And maybe you could visit the cat room. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Cat room is a great place to be. It We've got, is. I don't even know. Oh, he's up behind me. Yeah, he is. He's, <laughs> he's in hanging the out in the window. Yeah. He's thinking, I like with that, how that looks out there. Yeah, so, exactly. See, awesome. you could have a, a window perching cat. Right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that's called a watch cat. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> right. So, so, so it's been a pleasure. You're yeah. always so much just oh, fun to talk to. No problem. So thanks for having us in. Of course. Um, I, I, know I always get rushed at the end because sometimes we go a little long because we love who we're interviewing of and what's course. happening. Of course. All kinds of fun things. Um, but I forget to mention, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. You can find us at Comparion of Great Falls, Montana, and it's all spelled out. It's not comparison. It's C-O-M-P-A-R-I-O-N of Great Falls, Montana. So subscribe to the YouTube channel and you get to see great videos like this one talking about the upcoming drool in the pool. So I think that's all we have for this episode. Thanks so much for joining us.